All right. So can everyone just sit up a little bit? Slide away from the backs of your chairs. Get up really tall. <laughs> Only if the proverbial shoe fits. Taking a deep inhale, bring your shoulders to your ears. And go. That was more for me than it was for you. But all right. Uh, thank you. So before we begin, of course, I got to throw out some thanks. Thank you to Sean. Of course, if it wasn't for his vision and mission, this room would be empty. So always thanks, Sean. Thank you, Clint and Coach Allen. And if Stacy's here, thank you, Stacy. And of course, Karen, awesome admin, the most awesomest admin in the world. All right. So uh, I'm Brian Friedman, the owner and director of Winter Garden Yoga, finalist of NPE Client of the Year last year. I did a case study last year, and here we are again today. So I was asked to speak about how we went from 40 to 82 VIPs in four months, and uh, we were able to break it down in five simple steps. So the first step was to educate the masses. Uh, second was convert the drop-ins, generate more leads, tighten up the pre-qual, and get staff on board with auto closer. So we'll just dig into these a little bit. So the first thing was to educate the masses. And this was a, a great tip that came from Coach Stacy during mega training. I was at a laser coaching session. I was in the hot seat. Everyone was on stage. I was pitting the works. And uh, the thing was, I was a little bit frustrated because I wasn't generating enough leads. I wasn't getting enough um, quality leads. And as we were going through the different uh, recommendations, it was Stacy. She said, do people even know what you offer? And that was the thing that's just kind of clicked in my brain because unless you were being pre-qualled or unless you'd gone through auto closer, you didn't know what we offered. So step one, educate the masses. So the first thing we did was begin to identify and call out our existing VIPs. And this was another great lesson from mega training. Uh, did anyone, was anyone mega training uh, 2013? Yeah. So at the time I was an EA. So I was in this giant conference room with a mix of people, EAs and VIPs. And then Rick, who was emceeing at the time, said, OK, all VIPs, go to this side of the room, meet Tony Horton of P90X, get your picture taken with him, get a book signed. You're going to hang out with Tony Horton. It's awesome. Everyone else, go get lunch. <laughs> and I just kind of remember how that made me feel. I was like, hey, I want to do that too. So. I stole that idea, and at the end of each class, I would just make sure to call it out. If you're a VIP, raise your hand. Great. Keep your eyes open for an email. We've got a terrific VIP-only event coming up. You don't want to miss it. If you're not a VIP, look at these people with their hands up and ask them about the benefits of being a VIP. We also began to tag the uh, new VIPs in Facebook, and this created a mind shift. More and more people were asking about VIPs. What does it take to be a VIP? Can you tell me more about uh, the VIP programs? So the other part of educating the masses was getting the message out there. So this grid uh, was created by Sean during a winner's weekend segment. Uh, so we just wanted to make it clear and simple. Here's what a basic plan offers. Here's what the platinum plan offers. So we've got it on our website. We sent out emails. We included it in an Ascension campaign, updated auto closer, made the announcement so we have handouts in the studio. The second step was to convert the drop-ins. Uh, it's very common in the yoga studio world for people to just come in, take a class or two or three. Uh, even if they're relatively consistent, they just will stay as a drop-in. So we just went into the, the vault, grabbed the Ascension campaign, uh, tweaked it up a little bit, and we sent out uh, 20 letters. We ran a report, I think, for the last 30 days, like who's been coming consistently over the last 30 or 90 days. Uh, 20 people showed up. We sent out the Ascension campaign. Three out of those 20 converted, one of which was our largest sale to date at $2,600. And then, of course, everyone's thing, generate more leads. So we reviewed, implemented, uh, and customized the skinny jeans. That was in January. And then in March, we went for Are You Stuck? 
Now from that we got eight who signed on as skinny jeans only. Three from the skinny jeans campaign jumped right into a six or 12 month commitment. And then four signed on as are you stuck only. And I think one from are you stuck converted. So that got us, uh, what is that, four VIPs in just with two campaigns. We also revised our VIP referral incentive. And to give you a little bit of uh, perspective on this, we tried a referral incentive. It was uh, around May 19th through G uh, December 31st, 2013. This was like a, a little flyer that went to the welcome pack. In that time frame, zero. Zero referrals, zero VIPs, zero. So of course we had to look at changing that. We revised it. We've got these coupons uh, that we stick into the uh, welcome pack. So from January to April, we've got three VIPs. I think it got us six referrals, but three of which signed up. And then of course, uh, Coach Allen said, start using walk-in capture forms, uh, walk-in data capture forms, which is great. Because we have a storefront and people just always want to pass by and stick their head in. What does it look like in here? Well, come on in and let's talk. And so we get their information that way. Also, I'm testing my first Facebook ads. So these Facebook ads don't have a specific offer. I just want to see if people are responding to them, which they are. Um, I've learned that the newsfeed is much more powerful than the column. It's, we got zero clicks on the columns, but lots of stuff from the newsfeed. We got at least one six month commitment, one VIP from the Facebook ads so far, and um, well over 170 likes. And again, to give you a little perspective, it took us three years uh, to get like 500 likes, and we got close to 200 in just about three months just from running the Facebook ads. I'm also testing my first uh, Google AdWord campaign, and we definitely got one VIP from that. Uh, we've cleaned up our social proof, and we've got a wall of fame now as well. The next step was to tighten up the prequal. This was huge for us, because um, we all know the prequal. It's, is it in your budget? Are you the sole decision maker, et cetera? And we followed, we followed the darn instructions. We got everyone in for the consult. But um, we saw that we had about a 60% close rate. So as we started to dig in deeper, why, what, what is it with the prequal that we're missing? Um, another common thing in the yoga industry is people are stressed out. So we'd get this, these people, uh, what are your goals? And they would tell us, you know, I'm just stressed out. But we weren't listening close enough. So for example, they'd say, I'm stressed out. I've got four part-time jobs, five kids, I gotta go to six soccer games, I take care of my grandmother, I take care of my mother-in-law, I'm driving from one end of Orlando to another. These people physically could not make it to the studio. We found that out the hard way, because they'd get into the consult and they'd be ready to go, can I see your schedule? We'd show them our yoga schedule, they can't come, they physically can't. So by drilling down, we just added a single simple question when we hear that stuff, can you commit to two times a week or eight times a month? And when we added that simple question to the prequal, we went to 100% with all of our consults. And again, that's been from about February to now. We're 100% close rate. Uh -huh. Get staff on board with auto closer. So now everyone at Winter Garden Yoga knows how to do the prequal. Everyone knows how to do a consult. So needless to say, we've got uh, increased sales. We've got flexible scheduling because we're not just relying on my avail availability. We've got four uh, people from which to choose. It gives us freedom for me and my staff and consistency. So where it was previously, you know, the exit strategy was, well, call Karen or ask Karen or I'll get an email to Brian. Our staff is taking care of it right there on the spot. So the takeaway from all this is um, April so far was the best month in our history. We, grew, we grossed uh, 800K in uh, gross revenue. And again, to give you, what did I say? Did I say that right? 18,000. <laughs> 1,800. That's what we were doing uh, three years ago. So 18,000 grossed uh, this month uh, in April. But again, to give you perspective, two years ago, we were making like four grand. So just in less than two years, we almost, did we do four times? So we quadrupled our gross revenue in less than two years. We have 42 new VIPs, four of which are paid in full. 
It's the first time we're uh, running multiple and simultaneous campaigns, internal and external. And we've got way more systems in place than we had previously. You can do it. That's the good news. You absolutely positively can do it. Uh, and I want to encourage you to kind of think of this as more of like a snowball effect. So all those pages and pages that uh, were summarized in five easy steps, it would be one thing first. So first we educated the masses. Then as we're continuing educating the masses, we would do the next step and the next step. So I just think of it as sort of a, a snowball, a cumulative effect of awesomeness. And you can absolutely 100% do it. Just follow the damn instructions. <laughs> if you've seen me present before, that's my tagline. I think that's going to be my epitaph. Follow the damn instructions. <laughs> it's, it's really that simple. And this is something that a lot of people have a hard time getting their head around. People will ask me, like, well, what did you do for this and that? I say, Coach Allen gave me three action items. I did it. When I had winner's weekend, Sean said, do this. I did it. No arguing, no pushback. Just follow the instructions. And you can do it, too. So if you're curious about the Facebook ads or you have questions about anything that I presented, just grab me if you see me walking around during one of the networking breaks. Thank you.